Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the best ways to sell your WRX or STI if you need to sell your WRX or STI in 2022. Now this is an interesting video to make and it's not your typical video for this channel, but I think it's an important video because the market and how we're gonna be selling our cars just has changed. Now I do wanna acknowledge before I get too far into the video that nothing in this video is permanent. This is a adaption of what's happening with our market with the inflated prices and these are recommendations on how to navigate that and actually get a sale with your WRX or STI. And I can speak from experience. Not only am I looking at the market, but I am trying to sell right now the WRX that I am driving in so I can buy an STI. And things have just changed because of the supply and demand of our cars in the used car market and just generally what is going on. And guys, before we get started, let me talk about the sponsor of today's video you guys. So I don't have a sponsor for the video, but if you guys could like the video and sponsor the video by liking it, that would be greatly appreciated and help the channel out more than any sponsor could do. And it's free to do if you just smash that like button. So let's get straight into it. Well, the market is crazy. People are over paying for cars. Cars are more expensive than they've ever been. And they're pretty much more expensive than they have any right to be. They're more expensive than the market than their real value in the market. And it's an interesting place to be, but it's not gonna change because that is just the way the market works and what supply and demand work in a, in a capitalistic society. Now I've got no commentary there. I'm just saying cars are valued higher than what they should actually be valued. And we as consumers now need to navigate this. But what ends up happening is if you have a higher priced car that has now just gotten more expensive and then on top of that is part of a niche market, you may actually find some difficulty navigating your ability to sell that car. And that is what I'm finding right now. The WRX and STI market, because there's so much information and such a great community, is a very educated community. And therefore, people have a deep understanding of what these cars are really worth and a vast and long knowledge of their prices. What that really means is people are very unwilling, enthusiasts are very unwilling to overplay for the, overpay for this platform. With that said, there is still a consumer market out there that isn't enthusiasts and they make up a significant portion, if not a larger portion of the community buying these cars. So how do you take advantage of that group of people if you don't have access to them? And what do you mean there? Well, if you go onto Facebook, if you go onto these communities, you're really only talking to those very specific enthusiasts and you're getting a very niche market. But to attract the other market, right now in today's day and age is almost impossible. Well, everything that I've said to this point is so true that we've seen the emergence of what are called iBuyers. And billions and billions and billions of dollars are backing my opinion right now. And why do I sell that? say that? Well, things like Carvana, Vroom, and CarMax exist. They don't, they don't only exist on the nature of what I'm talking about right now, but they have been thriving and booming. And what do these I buyers offer? They offer a potential high sale on a trade-in, typically higher than what you can obtain in a niche market. Now, what do I all mean there? They're offering more money than dealers typically. And on top of that, they're offering better value than you can sell to somebody private value. When you sell to your average consumer, there's a level of security, false security in my opinion, from buying through a dealer right? Well, you can't recoup that confidence and therefore can't get as much money. It's just how it works. And people, it is easier for someone to go into a dealer and browse for the car. You're not going to be able to compete with that consumer market, but you now have access to it. Yes, you're going to take a little bit of hit on the price because they still need to make money, but they offer another level of convenience which means delivery to you, this easy eye buying program, which means they can charge more for their cars. And because they can charge more for their cars, they can now make better offers for other people's cars. And that system just works beautifully in that they're probably the best way to sell your WRX or STI in 2022. I know it took a little while for that buildup, but that whole entire buildup was, you know, the intention there was to discuss why it's true and why it's a reality. And I think once you understand that it is a reality, you can kind of start to come to see 
one, the convenience, two, the value, and three, how that market and business model actually works because a lot of people distrust them. So far, I've only heard great things about all those three entities, Vroom, CarMax, and Carvana. They've been making incredible offers to everyone, including myself. Um, obviously not sponsored. I'm not saying go pick one. I'm just saying that in 2022, if you don't wanna have your car on the market for six to eight months at market value, at the current market value of the inflated price, then you need to explore one of these iBuyer programs if you wanna speed it up. If you don't wanna speed it up, you have to understand that you are going to take potentially a larger hit on the market value of your car, trying to sell it as a non-dealer entity uh, than you would get even on a trade-in. And that's the reality. And uh, I guess there is also a thought of if your time is equal to money, you know, if you could otherwise spend that time working or doing something that generates income or wealth, then the time that you save by just having someone come pick up the car, no questions asked, essentially fill out a little paperwork and write you a check, there's also significant value there. If you're considering selling your WRX or STI in 2022, then I highly recommend looking into these iBuyer programs, at least acknowledging that they're there and it is absolutely free and super easy to do to just get a free quote from them. So I highly recommend doing that. I guess my only other you know, recommendation would be make sure you do it on, on a incognito Chrome window um, just so they can stop, so they can lower the ability to track you and adjust the offer if they can, not, if they think that, if their machine learning decides that you are actually trying to sell and you're getting more desperate, quote unquote, and then they can lower your price. That is very similar to how airlines work. You know, if you guys didn't know this, if you continue to look for flights to, from New York City to the Bahamas, right? And you look 20 or 30 times in a month, let's say, you're actually gonna find that the, you're gonna, well, you're not gonna know, but the prices for the flights are actually gonna get more expensive the more you look because there's this level of desperation. They're increasing their conviction that you're gonna buy and then you end up paying more money. So that, just a small recommendation. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.